staying like this today because there isn't any more sun outside and I think the light is better if I do this so we're trying it out but my bookshelves are messy and there's spots still unfilled on that thing that I enter the room in and I don't know. Tell me if you like it because I'm undecided. Today I'm doing Nairmon's YouTube survey. I was tagged by a guy called Lundy Life here on YouTube so go check him out because he's pretty cool. Number one, why are you called that? It's gonna be a long answer because my name, there's a lot of story behind it. Why is this a question? My first name is Sabina, not Sabrina, although sometimes people think I can't spell my own name. I have to tell people it's like Sabrina without the R and I don't, I don't like doing that. Don't call me Sabrina, I don't like it. Sabina, no R. My uncle once dated a girl named Sabina and by no means am I named after her. She spelled her name differently and he ended up marrying somebody else and long story short, I'm not named after her. But that may or may not be the first exposure my parents had to this name. They just liked it. I have a German last name so a Scandinavian first name goes pretty well with that. When my parents were deciding what to name me, my mom wanted Britta, but I, they thought I would get teased with jokes about like the water filter company Britta. And my dad wanted Zelenka because my sister's name starts with an A and he thought it would be cute if my name started with the Z. For the first probably 10 years of my life, I didn't like my name at all. I went through a phase where I wanted to be named Samantha, and I never like persuaded anybody to call me that or anything, but it was just like a burning desire that I had. And I don't know why, because I think I fit my name pretty well, and now I like it. I can pretty much get away with just writing my first name on stuff, because it's not like there's a whole lot of Sabinas running around over here. As for my middle name, my middle name is Kellen. This comes from my grandmother's name on my dad's side. Her first name's Helen and her middle name is Kay, but she switches them. She goes by Kay Helen. And somebody had the idea to just smush them together and make Kellen and give it to me as a middle name. My sister's middle name is after my mom's mother, so that makes sense. Two, tell us about your favorite school teacher. Mine, I think, is going to be a two-way tie. There was Mrs. E.B. in first grade and she spent a lot of time teaching in Japan, so she had a lot of Japanese influences. And at recess, we got to bring out one of those low tables and sit on the floor and dress up in kimonos and that was always like, actually the best thing ever. The other teacher is Mrs. Schultz, my third grade teacher. Third grade was my first year in public school. Before that, I went to private school, so it was kind of a weird time for me and she made everything so much better. In her classroom for like silent reading time, there was a bathtub with pillows in it and a throne made out of wood and painted and looking all castle-y. We had two class pets who were rats and at recess I got to go in and feed them cheese and help her take care of them because we had rats at home and she had never taken care of rats before. And so I kind of got to be like the special rat helper and so I always loved that. And she's so sweet and I still go back and visit her all the time. Three, what is the strangest food you've ever eaten? I have traveled a fair amount. I've been to, I think, 14 countries, and that's a lot considering I'm only 16. So I've had a lot of it, definitely exotic foods, but as for weird foods, I'm pretty picky, so I tend to shy away from stuff like that. But one time here in the States, I was convinced to eat alligator, and they said, oh, it'll taste like chicken, and it did. It tasted exactly like chicken, in fact. Why would you eat alligator if you can get chicken for much cheaper? Unless it's to say that you've eaten alligator, which... It was for me. Four, tell us about your first gig. The first concert I ever went to was a Never Shout Never concert about two years ago. The beginning of the concert was not so good. We didn't know any of the intro bands and only one of them was actually decent. And Never Shout Never had just released a new CD that Tuesday. It was like a Saturday or something. So I hadn't heard any of the new songs, but of course they decided to play all of those first. There wasn't a whole lot of good energy at the beginning and there was this girl who kept starting this pushing thing where everybody would fall over. Needless to say, it just wasn't fun at the beginning. But by the time we got to the end of the night and we heard all the songs that we knew and loved and were dancing and singing along and jumping up and down and whatever, it was really fun. Five, what is your favorite place in the world? As I said before, I've done a lot of traveling and I'm really grateful for that, but I have a lot of favorite places because of it. I'm gonna cheat and pick a couple. You can have a couple favorites. That's a thing that's allowed, okay? I love Seattle because two of my best friends live there and it's a great city and it's always super fun to go visit. I really liked the vibe of Baltimore when I went over spring break. I think it's really funky and cool and definitely something I'm not used to being from the west coast. I love London because I love big cities and I'm an American so it's super cool. I love Turkey a lot because the culture is so different and interesting and I loved Greece because how could you not love Greece? It's so beautiful and the ocean and the buildings and the everything. And my sixth is San Sebastián in Spain because I got to spend three weeks there last summer and it was just brilliant and the culture and the food and the everything and just, oh my god, there's not a day that goes by when I don't wish I was in Spain. Question six, who do you want to answer the survey next? I'm gonna tag my buddies Natalie Snicket, they named her Amy, the utmost Ulrich, and Spant Online. 